Welcome to my photo story, my personal journey with applied behavior analysis and positive behavior intervention strategies. I hope that you enjoy my photo story presentation. What is applied behavior analysis? Applied behavior analysis are a set of learning principles that were created to understand and change negative behaviors. In this photo story, you will be introduced to my study student, recognize his negative target behavior, understand his triggers, and analyze how collaboration and designing a specific intervention plan served as a positive reinforcer toward positive behavior. Positive behavior intervention strategies, what is it? Positive Behavior Intervention Strategies, or PBIS, is a school-wide approach to make schools safe by promoting positive behaviors. It is an approach to responding to negative and challenging behaviors both in and out of the classroom environment. PBIS starts in the classroom. A big part of PBIS is having a conducive classroom environment. As you can see, my cooperating teacher, Ms. Jamie Jackson, does an excellent job of that. Upon walking in her room, there is a Welcome, I Am Happy You Are Here poster, visual and illustrative classroom expectations poster, and also a wall of accomplishments that kids fill out, which states their daily accomplishments or minor accomplishments or major goals and achievements. Also, Ms. Jackson does a very good job of sectioning out her room. There is a specific guided reading area and also a Read 180 area where students are able to go select from a library a book of their choice based on topics that they enjoy and their current reading level. Me and my study student, Armande Rayshawn Turner. My study student is an active but shy fourth grader named Armande. He does not do well in reading and writing and has displayed the negative target behavior of extreme use of profanity. In working with him, I learned that there are also demographic issues at home that added to this target behavior. The following slides are instruments I use to get to know our Monday in order to develop an intervention plan of action, which derived from a functional behavior analysis and a behavior intervention plan. Target area of concern and intervention plan. Target areas concern extreme use of profanity during unstructured time such as cafeteria and hallway and extreme use of profanity when transitioning to reading and writing content area time. Our mind days seem to use this target behavior in order to avoid and escape work, also to seek attention from peers and teachers and others. And when he did not get that attention, whether negative or positive, he became frustrated and sometimes aggressive. In analyzing the functional behavior analysis, I learned his triggers were unstructured hallway and passing period, cafeteria time, library time, and of course reading and writing content area. His antecedents started out with mumbling profanity under the breath, whispering profanity to classmates, and eventually blurting out profanity loudly. Consequences that follow consisted of a verbal reprimand, name on the board, a minute hold after class, loss of free period, and eventually removal from the classroom environment. For his behavior intervention plan, Armande, myself, and Ms. Jackson sat down and came up with a goal. The goal stated that Armande would be respectful by making positive comments to peers and adults using language that is free from profanity, vulgarity, and obscenities at 95% of the time measured by positive teacher ratings on daily monitoring sheets. Our tier structured intervention consisted of prevention with our Monday checking in daily first thing in the morning so that Ms. Jackson could reiterate daily expectations. His replacement behavior was scored by a self-monitoring sheet that he was responsible for. Positive reinforcers Armande chose based on his student select survey were to hear daily positive praise and positive feedback, earning computer time, and also a weekly report home from an administrator. The intervention plan was implemented in October 
And as of November, I'm proud to say that PBIS and ABA really does work. Based on his student selected interest survey, Armande chose a reinforcer of completed guiding reading on the computer daily. Here are examples of Armande completed guided reading versus that of reading aloud or reading independently from a book. Another example is a PAW or a positive action we saw postcard as signed by the administrator, Dr. Jessica Waters, who is principal at Hazelwood Middle School. Armande earned a PAW for excellent behavior during hallway and passing period for the last week. Although tiring, strenuous, and very, very, very extreme, I would have to say that the collaboration, intervention planning, and resource and support of PBIS and ABA does equal successful reinforcement. I feel that I have learned a lot. My student has become a better person, and Ms. Jackson now has a more conducive environment with a better relationship with a student that she once saw as very challenging.